Hi guys, do you struggle to keep a track of your different activities and tasks that you need to complete? Uh, are you struggling to even record them in the first place, let alone categorise, uh, put a due date and organise them and file them away? I'll show you a tool which I use called Microsoft To Do. It's a fantastic little tool. It's very easy to use, but it's very powerful as well. Previously, I was using Excel and uh, Trello as well, and also written notes, but they don't quite stick. I still do use all of those tools and do written notes. There's a time and a place for, that, for those, and there's different applications for Excel and Trello. But with written notes, they can get lost, you can't easily find the way, you can't recategorize and then assign due dates, etc. So I'll show you Microsoft To Do, uh, the different benefits and how I use it as well. So let's dive in. So this is the desktop app version of Microsoft To Do. Um, as you can see, it's quite a slick app. The user interface is fantastic. I love the background image, which you can customize. Uh, these are the default ones and there's a few different ones that you can you can choose from uh, like here which look absolutely amazing and you can upload your own uh, as well so uh, the default page is my day so this is where you'll build your priorities uh, for the day what you're going to be working on and you can manually build this. You can input something directly in there. Um, and also, if there's a task where you've assigned a due date, let's say I log in tomorrow and there's something due, it will already automatically appear on my day. Um, so if we click on one of them, then it'll bring up a little window on the right, and this gives a bit more detail. So over here you can see, and I absolutely love this about Microsoft To Do is you can add subtasks, subtasks to it. So I usually put them in sequential order. So things, the different steps, in, in other words, uh, to complete that main activity. So as you progress, you tick them off. And then once you tick all of them off, then the main task is complete. So I think that's great. It really helps me plan as well and get my thoughts down. So sometimes there's so much information um, and the different steps you need to do in order to complete it. This helps to plan it and gets you, downloads your thoughts about that activity. So I think that's fantastic. So if we go, go to the left now, and there's different categories here. So these are some of the default categories um, that are built in. So important tasks. So any that you've hit star over here and assigned it an importance that all of the important tasks easily uh, available in one list. Uh, Microsoft To Do also has a really good integration with the rest of the, the, the Microsoft 365 suite. So any emails that you've flagged, they're neatly here in a, in a list, which is great. You can also build your own categories. So this is what I've done over here. So I've got my work, family staff, training and development, uh, my volunteering as well. So if we click on here, I've got careers and skills, training. So it's basically lists within lists. And if we go back to my day, this is what it's pulling the different tasks from, all of these different categories on the left. So I think it's fantastic. I think it's a really easy one to use. I've been using it for two years. I think it's absolutely sick app. Um, and there's different versions of it. This, the one I'm using is the desktop app. There's also a web version, and I'll also use the mobile app version. So it synchronizes the information, the data, the tasks uh, perfectly. I've had no issues at all. The mobile version looks very similar to this, just a different resolution and in portrait mode. Um, yeah, so that's Microsoft To Do. Excellent tool. Let me know what you think in the comments and try it out yourself. Yeah, it's free to download on your mobile app and also the desktop version uh, as, as well. So that was Microsoft To Do. Hopefully that was helpful. If there's a tool that you're using that is different to this and you prefer using that, uh, please leave a comment 
and let me know. I'd love to know. Uh, I'll be doing a series of different videos on, on the various tools that I use in my day job, in volunteering and other roles. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. And then you'll get the updates. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.